Whenever somebody inquires to me which piece of technology they should purchase, it's always a question of preference in my opinion. Preference really plays a role into whatever you're going to buy as a piece of technology. If you prefer one platform over another, it's a no brainer in which one you should go to. If you don't have a preference though, then you definitely have to lean into which one benefits you more. And iOS and Android are two very, very different platforms, but two platforms that can benefit a very different consumer base. When you're looking at iOS, and iOS is really just the operating system that Apple makes, you have to look at Apple kind of as a contained entity. They call it a wall garden. And the reason why they call it a wall garden in the tech community is because everything is done within the big walls of the Apple garden. They make their hardware, they make their software, their software talks to their hardware. They are in control of all their manufacturing. They do everything in-house. Android is not an everything in-house. We're gonna talk about that in a bit let's focus a little bit more on apple if you're looking into purchasing an ios device if you're looking into purchasing an iphone one of the biggest benefits is that apple does do everything in-house they make their own operating system they make their own hardware and because of that no company does it better when it comes to all pieces of their technology talking to each other but i always tell people that if you're going to buy in on an iphone and you want to take full advantage of all that apple has to offer you're probably gonna have to buy in completely into that Apple ecosystem in for a penny and for a pound. See, because one of the biggest benefits to the Apple ecosystem is the ecosystem in and of itself. How the iPhone talks to the iPad, how the iPad talks to their Apple computer, Apple computers talk to their Apple watch. Everything kind of just synchronizationally is that a word? Synchronizes and speaks to each other in a way that no other tech company is able to do because no one really produces all the things in house like Apple. Does. So if you're looking to purchase an iPhone and you're going to get a tablet, it would make no sense to get an Android tablet because you have an iPhone, you should get an iPad. Because you have an iPad, if you're getting a computer, you should get a Mac. And it really can become a more expensive investment than people initially consider because they just think they're purchasing a phone but in order to really become an Apple user, to become a part of that Apple ecosystem. You're going to end up shelling out a lot of money. But there are definitely some benefits to getting an iPhone over an Android. For the most part, a lot of people believe that iPhone phones are simpler they just work you turn them on you log into your account you're good to go the backups usually restored just fine especially if you had an ios device to begin with applications just seem to load and work a little bit better on apple than it does on android and one of the main reasons to that is that a lot of these app developers develop on the ios platform first and then move it to android so a lot of the android applications you're getting are not solely developed on android they just kind of port it over to android so you kind of get the bugs but for the most part you do have a clean apple ecosystem that you're dealing with and the ease of use is an appeal to a lot of people now all cards on the table i have no biases but i do currently have an android device and i've been in android's camp for a while now even though i did have an iphone a couple of years back and i, I really enjoyed using it i didn't have a problem at all using the iphone versus the android one of the biggest things a lot of android users like is choice choice is something that you don't really get when you go with an Apple device because again Apple makes all the devices so all the iPhones pretty much look the same you've seen one iPhone you've seen them all but when you go on the Android side you have a ton of different companies making Android phones you have OnePlus you have Samsung you have Huawei you just have so many different companies producing these Android devices so if you don't like how one set of phones look then you have a choice to go to another company that may make better designing phone than you are attracted to so the option of choice in the android community is a big one and it's one of the biggest reasons most people choose to go with android over ios and for the price point you can actually get some really great android devices that look completely different from each other and still function semi close to being the same and the reason i say semi close is one of the things that's different than the iphone on the android side is that even though you're getting that android experience a lot of these companies put a kind of shell over the android experience so with samson you're getting the samson ui baked into android with google you're kind of getting that raw android experience with oneplus they have their own ui that's baked over on android as well some of these are better than others some of them are a little bit buggy some of them are you know a little bit cumbersome they've gotten better over the years but nothing is going to give you that fluid raw feel that you're looking for if you were just to get a standard iphone system and really android also just doesn't 
bake you into their ecosystem the way that Apple does. And that is a benefit to a lot of people as well, because again, that error of choice to give you the ability to buy a different tablet if you want. Ironically, if you have an Android phone, it's okay to buy an iPad because it really doesn't matter. You're not forcing you to buy an Android tablet to communicate with your Android phone. And you don't get kind of honed into an ecosystem and it gives you the ability to dabble in different pieces of technology, which you know, I find it's a good thing. So when it comes down to it, what is the main answer to the question of which one you should get? Only you can answer that question, really. It really just depends on what you're looking for. So if you are a person who has other Apple devices in your possession, then I would definitely say go with another Apple device because it just makes sense. It makes sense to take full advantage of that Apple ecosystem to begin with, making sure that your data is transferring and talking to each other to the best of its ability. If you're a person that currently doesn't have any Apple devices and you're looking for a more rounded choice or more rounded base of choice and android's probably going to be the way to go because you have so many more companies that are trying to vie for your business and competition is always a good thing the only people that apple are competing with kind of is themselves in that apple ecosystem so there's not much competition there but in the android market there are a ton of companies competing for your buck so you have a ton of different options you have a ton of different choices of operating systems of designs of cameras just everything that's kind of baked into the whole android system is a system it's a built on choice if you are looking for that choice go with android if you're looking for something simplistic that is basically a turnkey phone go with apple and either way i don't think you can make a wrong choice because it's going to be something that you use and something that is beneficial to you and in the end that's all that really matters